Hello. Oftentimes, when one is carrying out hierarchical linear modeling, the researcher decides to perform either grand mean centering or group mean centering of predictor variables. So in this demonstration, I'm going to de provide a demonstration of both. So I have a data set that's open, and I'll also include it as a link underneath the video description. And we have student-level data on math achievement with students who are nested within different schools. So we have a student identifier variable and a school identifier variable. And again, we're going to be performing centering operations on math achievement. So we're going to start with grand mean centering, the math achievement variable. And what, what that means is that we're going to take each student score and deviate it from the overall or grand mean on that variable. So to perform that operation, we first need to obtain the mean for that variable. So we'll do this by going to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and click on Descriptives. We'll move the Math Achievement variable over to the Variables box. Under Options, we want to make sure that we have Mean selected. Next, we'll click on Continue, and then on OK. And so now we get the mean for that variable. And I know this is very, very small, uh, probably on your screen. So I'll give you the number, which is 12.74785. So I need to take that number, and I'm actually just going to copy this off. And next, I'm going to go under Transform, Compute Variable, and I'm going to create a new variable for the data set that is representing the grand mean centered variable. So I'm going to call this Math, A-C-H for Math Achievement, and I'm going to uh, also include G-M-C for Grand Mean Centered. Um, under Numeric Expression, I'm going to move the Math Achievement variable over then type minus and then put the mean in. And next we'll click on OK. And so now in our data set we have our new variable math achievement which is grand mean centered. So again this is each student score on math achievement that's been deviated from that grand mean on that variable. Now let's say that we want to group mean the math achievement variable. In other words we want to center each student score relative to the school mean. To do this what we're going to need to do is to go to data go down to aggregate, and we're going to move our grouping variable, which is school ID, over to the break variables box. We're going to move math achievement variable, the original variable, over to the summaries of variable box, and you'll see that it says mean. And so what we'll do is when we click on OK, we now have a new variable, and the values on this variable represent, uh, for each student is, is essentially the school mean. So this, the, the mean on the math achievement variable for the school uh, that the student attends is provided. So you can see that it's a constant for all the students within each of the schools. So this is school 1224, uh, all values are 9.72. 1288, the values start up at 13.51 and so forth. So it's a constant for, across the students for the school. So next up, what we're going to do is we have to deviate the, um, essentially take the math achievement uh, scores for the students and subtract the school means. So to do this, we're going to go to Transform, Compute Variable, and I'm going to hit Reset right here, and I'm going to create a new variable that's called Math uh, Achievement, and I'm going, to, I'm going to say CWC for Centered Within Cluster. So under Numeric Expression, I'm going to move the Math Achievement variable over, then type minus, and then move our uh, school mean variable over, and then click on OK. And so now you can see that we have our new variable, which is math achievement centered within cluster, or in this case, centered within school. So that concludes this demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.